dear students this is my third video lecture for chapter amalgamation in subject advanced accounting and auditing paper 2 for class second year bcom semester 3 veer nirmit south gujarat university in this video lecture we will discuss an important point that is treatment of difference between purchase consideration and paid up share capital of the transferer company in case of merger dear students this is one of the very important point in case of merger that we have to calculate the capital loss or a capital profit that is nothing but the difference between purchase consideration and paid up share capital first of all we calculate consideration for amalgamation by net payment method which is given by a transferer transferee company to the transferer company consideration given to equity shareholders of transferer company in the form of cash then equity shares of transferee company preference shares of transferee company and other securities of transferee company in that we add consideration given to preference shareholders in the form of cash equity shares and preference shares and finally total consideration given to amalgamated company for amalgamation so like this in first step we calculate consideration for amalgamation given to the amalgamated companies equity shareholders and preference shareholders in second step we calculate paid up share capital of transferer company that is paid up equity share capital of transferer company that is old company p limited q limited for example paid up preference share capital of p limited and q limited so finally we get total paid up share capital of both the companies independently that is of p limited and q limited and paid up capital paid up equity share capital paid up preference share capital will be readily available to us in the given balance sheets of p limited and q limited now in third step we find the difference between purchase consideration and paid up share capital of transferer company that in case of merger that is nothing but the difference between purchase consideration calculated in step number 1 and paid up share capital calculated in step number 2 of the transferer company purchase consideration less share paid up share capital of transferer company situation number 1 if purchase consideration is more than the paid up share capital of transferer company dear students there are two situations situation number 1 purchase consideration is more than that is greater than the paid up share capital of transferer company or a purchase consideration is less than the paid up share capital of transferer company these are the two situations if purchase consideration is more than the paid up share capital of transferer company is termed as capital loss for the transferee company i repeat situation number 1 is considered as capital loss for transferee company that is new company or amalgamating company and second situation purchase consideration is less than the share capital of transferer company will be treated as capital profit 
for the transferee company the reason behind here the transferee company is giving more amount against paid up share capital company is giving more amount as a purchase consideration against paid up share capital and that is why the more amount will be treated as capital loss and here in second situation transferer company is giving less amount as a purchase consideration against paid up share capital and that is why it will be treated as capital profit now the treatment of capital loss or a capital profit first we will see the treatment of capital loss excess consideration that is capital loss shall be adjusted against general reserve and profit and loss account of the transferer company and that of the purchasing company that is the amalgamated company or you can say transferer company and transferee company i mean to say capital loss will be adjusted or set off against general reserve and profit and loss account balance of transferer company and transferee company and capital profit shortfall that is capital profit in consideration shall be credited to capital reserve dear students as we have seen in accounting entries that capital loss due to merger was debited in accounting entry number 2 and capital reserve was credited in accounting entry number 2 at at the same time out of these two only one result can be possible either there would be a capital loss or there would be a capital profit so my dear students i hope you people understood the treatment of difference between purchase consideration and share capital paid up for transferer company in case of merger this is very very important treatment uh, for calculation of the sum related to merger thank you thank you very much for watching this video lecture very soon we will meet with second method purchase method for amalgamation